How's it going YouTubers? It's me AMR. In this video, I'm going to be installing the Crucial P5 Plus SSD in the PS5. So before we do that, we're going to have to uh, get it ready. I have got this heatsink which um, came bundled with this Crucial uh, SSD on an Amazon package. So I'm going to do this right now. First of all, let's unpack this. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not an expert with SSDs and I'm not expert installing things in the PS5. So this is going to be a first hands-on experience and we'll see how this pans out to be. There's going to be many mistakes and stuff. So here we go. Let's go and open this uh, heatsink. So this heatsink, you know, it looks like a bloody amplifier to be honest with you. Uh, let's go and open it. Is this the wrong way? Let's get it out. Oh wow, that, that looks way nice, better than uh, uh, what uh, the pictures were showing. So that is the heatsink there. And what we got have here is uh, the instruction manual, which is probably not needed. Here are the heatsink pads. There's uh, two of them, which is gonna go both on one side. So what do we have here? Let me quickly get this out. It's not coming out, man. Don't wanna damage it. It looks very, very uh, fragile. If you want to see an unboxing with your SSD, I've just done that. So here it is, the heatsink. Uh, let's uh, separate these two, like so. Which, they're not separating. Come on, dude. Do I slide it out? This is going to be a very awkward video. Um, just one moment, let me have a close look at this. There we go. We just pulled it. We just pulled it out like that. So this sits on it like that way and that's uh, i need to line this properly so first things first we gotta apply the thermal padding to the ssd let's do that right now the most crucial bit get that out how many are there there's three one uh, i believe one is extra one is extra well wow, this table padding is so nice and cool so um what we're gonna do is Let's have sorted first. So let me check something. Um, which way does this go? I think the screw side goes that way, right? So that way. So let's get the SSD. You know, I'm so scared of picking the SSD up. Like, you're meant to be having special equipment for this. So let's do that. Uh, get the thermal pad. Undo the protected uh, layer. Actually, wait, is there two sides to this? Let me have a quick look. Now both sides are the same. Both sides are the same. So I'm just peeling this off like so. All peeled. Nice and sticky sticky. So what we're going to do is. I don't know if you can see this right. I'm just going to quickly put it on here. Making sure it does not cover the, the screw side. You know. I'm going to have to look at that. There was a screw in there. And if I lose the screw, I'm going to start screaming. One minute. Got the screw. Got the screw. Wow. That box did not want to be there. Right. So that's one side done. And then the other side. Dude, this is such a fidgety job, man. So. By the way, that label. Some people said remove it. Some people said don't. I said don't. Because that removal on the official video of the Crucial... If you remove that label, it voids the warranty, right? So remove it at your own, uh, at your own thing. So if later something wrong happens to the SSD and uh, you won't be able to do anything about it. So let me just quickly remove that like so. Just like the other one, make sure that you don't cover the screwing part. And there we go, sticky sticky. Nice and simple. Cool, yo. Right, there we go. Both side covers. Now, wait, which side is which? So, the, I believe this is going to fit like so. And you know what? It's pretty... What is wrong with this? It's a bit... It's a bit cramped in there, man. So, do I just like slide it in? Right, not slide it in, like put it in. You know what? I'm, I want to destroy this or something. So, what you're going to do is... Get the other side of the sticky off. 
like so if I can. You know, I don't like the way how I'm handling this SSD. Get it off. Nice and easy. There we go. And then what we do is put it right about here. Perfect. There we go. We put it. Now, what we're going to do is, let me just quickly have a look. Is everything all good in here? It's looking good. As you can see, close inspection, that I've uh, kept the screw bit visible. Right. Do you know, this feels so nice, man. I'm loving it. Right, uh, it looks like a glue type or something. Right, now we're getting the protective cover off. You know what, this is not sticking down right. Well, it doesn't matter because it's going to get squeezed in there. Sticky part off from the top. And remove it like so. There we have it. Now we are installing this thing that looks like an amplifier. And I believe it goes that way. Like so. Now what I've got to do is install one, two, three one two three screws here so i'll be right back i'm gonna pause the video i'm not gonna screw these down because it's gonna take time i'll be right back guys right then tubers after like a minute or so i did it three screws on that side three screws on that side do not tighten too hard they, or they just need to spoil so the uh, ssd inside is literally chilling there with the two uh very cool looking pads you know he's having the time of his life in there now Mission uh, number two is going to commence. I'm going to get my PS5 on the table and I'm going to put this bad boy inside the PS5 and hopefully I'll put it the right way. It, should, it is, probably is the right way. But anyways, yeah, I'll be back. Let me get my PS5 on the table. Right then, tubers, here's the PS5. It's so big that you can, you can barely fit on screen. But here we go. I'm taking this off and I'm going to be undoing the screw and I'm that slot over there that I've been desperately wanting to shove something inside there. I finally got it. So... Using the screen screw I got with my heatsink, I'm gonna open that. Wow, the screw's got like a X triangle circle uh, logo on it. You know, just showing that hey, we need more money in here. I'm gonna sh literally this lot here. I'm shoving 160 pot quid in it. Right, put it out like so. Oh my days, that is a huge screw. Bloody hell! If that were in the fan, things would have would have gone haywire, man. Right, uh, go and open that up. There we go. Put that to a side. Now, uh, I believe, oh, there's a screw already here. What what you do is, you unscrew this. What I, I, All of the videos that I've seen, there was no screw here. Why is there a screw already here? I don't get it. So what you do is, you unscrew this. Right, like so. Holy moly, how long is this screw? There we go. And that little, red, that little ring thing, you literally make it go one down. I think it was one down. You make it to go one down, and then you get the heat sink. This, you know, this scares me. What I'm gonna do now scares me. You get the heat sink, and you just slide it in. Basically, not the heat sink. Yeah, the heat sink with the SSD. Is is everything all good there? Right. Just gonna. Oh, great. Where's the other thing gone? One minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. Right. We just slide that in like so. Scary, scary, scary stuff. Um. There we go, it's sliding nice and easy. And it sits just above that screw thing. And then what we're gonna do is, come on, please be magnetic. No, it's not magnetic. This is gonna make things 10 times as hard. We're gonna put the screw in there and tie it up, if I can. Tight, 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 tight. Not too tight though. There we go. Now, you know what I feel like doing? No one on YouTube's done this. No one. The extra heat sink, I feel like putting it on top of here. I seriously feel like doing that. But, I don't know. You know, maybe it will uh, make things bad. Now, another thing. Many people, clever clogs have said, leave that open. It's gonna, basically, you get more, better airflow. But, the PS5 has got this architecture design that, you know, it needs air flowing all around. So if this is not on, on then how will... Major problem, guys, I think. No, it's good, it's good, it's good. The heatsink is a bit fat, if I don't mind saying. Yeah, the heatsink is a bit fat. So closing this with the heatsink, it just felt like it's not going to fit, but it is fitting. So you put it back in. As I was saying, 
with this on, right, the airflow is going to go all around it. You know, all the heat out, this is going to go out of the vent. But if this wasn't there, then it would have uh, simply, you know, the heat would have traveled nicely. So what's going to happen is, I have shut this down, right? I'm going to put the, um, I'm going to put the side plate back on. And then I'm going to hook this up back to my TV. And then I'll meet you there to see what happens when you start the PS5 or first time with the SSD plugged in. And by the way, since you've got this open, you guys, you might as well clean it all up, man. Seriously, my, I cleaned mine up last month. Yeah, it, just, it collects a lot of dust. But anyways, I'm going to meet you back on the TV to see what, what comes up on the TV. What the PS5 says. I hope the PS5 is happy with this. Right then, tubers, I'm turning the PS5 on for the first time when inserting the SSD. This is what happens. Let's go. Lights on. That's my PS, uh, that's my TV's uh, smart menu. You know what, I should have turned the TV on manually. I'm just uh, turning it on by... Uh... There we go. So to use your M2 SSD, you need to format it. When you format the M2 SSD, all data on it will be deleted. If you want to continue using your PS5 without formatting M2, turn off your PS5 and remove the M2 SSD. Note that saved data, screenshots and video clips cannot be saved in the M.2 SSD. Well, uh, okay, right, all right, okay, that might change in the future. So, door format and turn off the PSP, format the M.2 SSD. Let's go and do it, man. Wow, dude, look how fast a 2 terabyte hard drive is flipping formatting right there. Right, it says here, the, uh, uh, the read speeds as follows. You may experience problems by playing a game installed M.2 SSD, try installing in the console story. No, I don't think so. Right, what you see here is read speeds 5, 6, 5, 5 megabytes a second. Now, this SSD's maximum speed is 6,500 megabytes a second. This varies, you know, these read speeds, you can do them again and again, and uh, they can change uh, over time. So let's press X on that. Your M.2 SSD has been formatted to change your game, install, go settings, storage, installation location, to safely remove and then you turn on your PS5 first. Okay. Kidoki. Of course. Now rebuilding database. Logging in just like it should. Going on to my login page. There's the AMR. Logging in like that. And there we have it. Dude, what the hell? You're probably thinking, what are you even playing on your PS5? Oh, this is my uh this is my kiddos game. But anyways, let's go to setting. Uh let's go to storage. And check it out, full 2 terabytes right there for the AMR to mess around with. Now, let's go to console storage, and look at that, this is flipping absolutely clogged. So let's move something, right? Let's move something, and see how fast it takes. It's an SSD after all, so let's see what happens. Loading. Right, so here are all the things, so what should I move? What the hell, why have my... Right, one minute. Uh... Size large first, man. I don't know why it gets mixed up with the. Uh, wait, actually, what's happened here? Small moment. Size large, small. That's the one. Right. So what we're gonna do is right here, GTA. Right. Let's go on GTA. GTA. Uh, select items to move. So we'll do it uh, one game at a time. We can do multiple games, but let's do it. So Grand Theft Auto Five, PS Five. Let's move that to the M.2 SSD storage. Let's go. Let's see how long it takes. One second? Can't be one second. 60, what? One minute? Are you kidding me? It's going to take literally one, less than one minute to, uh, to move 90 gigabytes of data to the SSD. Now, that's what you call speed, dude. This is absolutely ridiculous. You know, I did not, I was not expecting it to be this fast. Look at that. I'm moving GTA 5 enhanced version on the PS5 to the new SSD. Absolutely Killer, let this be done, and then I'll show you one more thing, uh, which uh, basically what I'm going to do is set all uh, PS5 games, so every PS5 game that you install is going to be moved to the SSD by itself, so let's do that right now. In fact, that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to move all my PS5 stuff on the SSD, I'm going to leave the PS5 SSD, like, you know, clean, clear. So it's moving, moving, moving. 15 seconds. You know, I just moved 90 gigabytes of data within less than a minute. You know, that is unbelievable. Four, three, 
three, come on. There we go, it's moved. It's all moved. It's gone in the SSD. So it's just, uh, it's just probably, there we go. It's moved. So now we're going to go here, go back, go, go down here. And there we go, it's moved in the SSD and bloody hell, all the folders, I hate all the folders. But 90 gigs in the SSD, so basically, now if you want all your games to get uh, put on the SSD, the new SSD that you installed automatically, you go installation location, PF5 games and apps, you go to M.2 SSD storage, it's going to get moved there by itself. PS4 games and apps, no. But at the moment, I haven't got my external uh, touch, so that's why it says console uh, storage. Now, guys, if you've got any questions about this, don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Take care of yourselves, man. Peace out.